Good evening to the Brookfield Selectmen's Meeting of Tuesday, July 9th, 2019. Would you like to rise and join me in? Oh, the flag go. Oh, Someone move the flag up. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ah! Oh, squeaky chair. I would like to entertain a motion to approve an expense warrant for 627.19 for $289,058.64. Approve an expense warrant from 7119 for $293,008.29. And approve a payroll warrant for 518.19 for $164,585.01 and, and approve an expense warrant for 719, uh, excuse me, 7919 for $19,976.04. You have that motion. Say it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Then I'd like a motion to approve selectman's minutes from 62519. You have a motion to that effect? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And now we have acknowledged some minutes and reports from other departments. We, uh, we have the Cultural Council minutes from June 3rd, 2019. Uh, Fire Department monthly report for June 2019. And EMS monthly report for June 2019. Do you have a motion to acknowledge? All in, Second. All in favor? <coughs> Aye. Aye. And I would like to congratulate uh, firefighter Stephen Butnick for 38 years on the force and Matthew Graves for 20 years. And uh, thank them for their service and for all those years and continue to have them around for quite a few more years after that. Congratulations. And then we have some announcements. The Brookfield Ecumenical Pantry is, ex is accepting donations at the Merrick Public Library. Whether the library is open or St. Mary's Church at 4 Howard Street during distribution hours, Wednesday 9.30 to 11 and Saturday 9.30 to 11 a.m. Do we have any other announcements? Not tonight. Okay. okay. Well, I have a little thing I'd like to say tonight. Okay. It has come to my attention as chairman of the board that there are many instances where town departments and town res uh, excuse me, instances within the town where town residents are given out personal phone numbers for town employees and are not following the proper procedure of who to contact with a question or a problem. All of us would appreciate it if someone has a financial problem, the first person to contact is the town accountant. If the town accountant cannot resolve the situation, she must pass along to the town treasurer. Please do not contact the selectmen or other departments individually. This simply creates chaos because the proper department head should be handling the problem and the select board should be the absolute last result. Going forward, there will be many changes to town departments and policies and procedures so that we can streamline and become a more efficient municipality. As we all know, Due to our previous accountant problems, we all need to be flexible and move the town forward in a positive direction. And we need, all need to have patience and understanding and be willing to accept these changes. Thank you. Okay. Good point. Okay, first thing on our agenda is um, a storage license for Tassie Fuel. And Mr. Tassie is with us if he would like to come up. Grab us off chair. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. 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 Great so to have you in town. Karen, you have the application. She has it. Yeah, I have them all yeah. right here. So essentially, um, I have purchased the Brookfield Motor Building, and I would like to and have a special permit in the planning boards. Uh, already, uh, which we have a hearing on the 7th of August for that to change uh, not not changing the use it's still a building a, a building a business 
But, okay, you got a plan already. So let's just share that one, Beth, with me. Um, if you look on this property, so the existing building is about a 10,000 square foot building. It was used as a car dealership over the years. Um, we are going to not use it as a car dealership again. It'll be a, a maintenance facility for my own vehicles. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. um, storage for um, parts and materials for plumbing and the heating business. And But my real reason for being here tonight is to get permission to store... Um, there's already fuel oil and waste oil in the building mm -hmm. that has been used, which we want to continue to do. Um, we want to be able to store, I want to build a 60,000 gallon propane bulk facility. That's two 30,000 gallon tanks. They would be to the right of the property. Um, they're pictured on there as the round cylinders yep. to the right. Um, these will be in your paperwork tonight, Linda, and, uh, that you have. There's a application for the license. Yep. There's the license paperwork, and then there's an application to the state fire marshal. This, prop, this has to be approved by the state fire marshal after it gets approved by the town. So if the town gives me permission, I have to go to the state fire marshal to get it approved. It will be built in accordance with the state fire marshal, which is uh, CMR 148, and there's all kinds of rules in there for that. Um, I brought a picture of a bulk plant um, from uh, this up in New Hampshire. Um, Pretty. That's very that nice. would be um, would be fenced like it is there. Um, and that has two 30,000 gallon tanks, which are the front two tanks. There's a 60 behind it. I'm not looking to do that. I'm looking for just 60 at this time. And then uh, in addition on the permit, we've requ uh, the license, we've requested um, storage for an additional 30,000 gallons of storage, uh, propane storage for homeowner tanks, the 120s, 500s and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it includes um, tanks, uh, Bobtails, in other words, the trucks I deliver with, so that I'll be filling off of this, and then possibly down the road I may have my own transport where I'll bring use it to bring propane in. But those would be stored on the property in the same as a uh, moving vehicle, a delivery vehicle. Um, and then on that license, it also we listed the other fuels that would be stored in the building, which is specifically heating oil to heat the building and waste oil to heat the building. So that's the license. And then in the back of this, you see a proposed area that's dotted out, which right now we have pellet sales in North Brookfield, which are currently um, now stored on a lease piece of land that's owned by the railroad in North Brookfield. And mm -hmm. because they're working on a rail trail up there, they're Eventually they're going to eventually want to turn that into parking, so I'm going to lose that lease in about two years, two and a half years. So, because they don't want to renew it with me. So, this is another important reason. Yeah. So, I'm going to move okay. the pellet cells, but what I want to do is move the pellet sales down here. This really, that's not really considered a fuel, and that doesn't need to be on that license because no. it's not a, more an informational it's, it's courtesy. It's an informational thing, and that's, and I needed to have it on there for the special permit that I'm applying for. My, is, is there any sequencing issue with us reviewing the license first where the permitting isn't complete yet? So there's, I talked to my the engineer that's going to, that will design it and actually applies to the state. So the steps that are required are you need to get the license in the town. Okay. Okay. And then the paperwork for the state, which there's an application in there that needs to be signed saying that you guys have given me the license. Yep. And then that goes in and then they approve all of the setbacks and the, yep. the rules and all that. And then the, if normally you would, I would get the special permit first, yeah. but I feel confident in talking to the planning board. Okay, so and you've been working that, with them the, already. I've worked with them already. I've met with them twice and we actually have a hearing on August 7th. So the planning board, when I initially met them, told I told them what I was planning, what I would like to do with the property, and would they be opposed to doing it? Because if you're not interested in me coming here and doing this, right. then I won't buy the property. I'll keep looking somewhere else. So I got kind of a, I didn't get an okay, but I got, you should go ahead and continue to look at that. So then I did the paperwork and the background checks and the stuff for the property to make, to make a decision to buy it. I wasn't actually going to buy it until the, um, until I had the special permit. But because of the possibility of environmental that could be on this for what it was used for in the past, yeah. Doug and Diane were just ready to unload it, and I bought it really Got inexpensively. It. And so I bought it, and I'm gonna—I took the risk. Yeah. I'm gonna 
that whatever cleanup has to happen, I will do. That you'll take care of it. In the next couple of years. Okay. Um, but my goal is just to get the propane tank. So, in talking to my engineer, you get the license first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. You apply for the special permit. You start your engineering. You get state fire marshal approval. And then once the fire marshal gives you approval, that those can coincide together. Yep. If I go yep. through that, I'm going to spend the money on the engineering at this point. Yep. And if I spend the money on the engineering and get the, and then the special permit doesn't go through, that's money I wasted. So the special permit is kind of, usually wait for that, but I feel like after I've met with everybody and what I propose to do with the property, ultimately I have an office in Southbridge and in North Brookfield. And ultimately I would like to move the two offices it. into one place. Mm -hmm. yep. And this is really central to my service area. And it's a good location. And both of my two properties, North and Southbridge, North and South, so to speak, yep. are um, kind of landlocked. So this Got gives it. me an opportunity for a little bit of growth. Both buildings are two-story buildings, and I have inventory on the second floor and offices on the first. And so this just gives me a lot of an area to be all on one floor, and it, it's it, and it's a good location. And I really like to be in. Brooklyn. I think it's a great place to be. And, and we, awesome. we welcome you. And I'm closer Brooklyn. to home from here. Yes. It's a shorter distance to both to here than both places. Nice. So <laughs> we welcome a, business a, to Brookfield. A, yeah, yeah, and it brings business to Brookfield, which they're looking for. And the business that I'm doing will require very little water. Right. It requires town water because of the fire conditions. Yep. But it doesn't. But there, because there's no but town it's not sewer. A high use, yeah. And there's no town sewer, so a septic system on property. I'm not going to have. You know, it's like a restaurant or where there'd be a lot of stuff being going in the yeah, so we're not going to be washing trucks there or doing, you know, not major. I mean, they might be rinsing trucks and stuff, but we're not salt the stuff off. But we're not going to be doing any major cleanings or anything. There'll yep. be, there, there won't be any floor drains. All the floor drains are covered up in that building mm -hmm. yep. because they used to go to drain outside to a drywall, which will probably find contamination with the results of that. And we'll right. that so excellent. Awesome. That's very good. Yeah, so that's kind of a. Great news. Brief summary of my plans and what I really am looking for tonight is to get the license because I need the license to go to the state fire marshal. Yep. Okay. We have all three here. I'm glad this worked out. Me too. Excellent. And already here, the application for um, propane and things has already been signed off by the fire chief. Yep. So he signed that off. All right. So I would like to um, have a motion. So motion to sign. Sign Second. a license in the application for construction and installation. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Great. Thank you. Oh, so I'm probably the only one that has to sign on this one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So. Do you guys need to have a, does anybody need a map of any of this? I would like one of them if you don't mind. That's you can great. Have one. Thank you. So I brought them. So they could have one if they wanted one. If all goes well on August 7th, we'll, uh, and we get the, the permitting from the state, it takes anywhere from 30 to 45 days. So I, I'm hoping to have that shortly after we get that. And as soon as I have that, then I can. So I don't only have, as Linda's signing away, <clears throat> just one hint for you. Your, uh, your new billboard. So at Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving at, at uh, Halloween. That bulletin board ends up to be posted with some pretty it ha has over the last two years, and we've been working. We worked with the uh, billboard company, company to change the billboard because they put some gory stuff mm -hmm. up towards the school. So, uh, just an FYI. Also, the billboard, the, the one that's that's been there was there before the bylaw said that you can't have a billboard in Brookfield. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, it's so pre-existing that was, that was use. Pre-existing use. Yeah. So. But We're hoping it falls down someday soon. Yeah, well, as long as they don't put the gory thing up there for the kids. Well, so this, this is going to block some of it, some of the view of it. That'll be good. Nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> At least from the west. Yeah, exactly. You won't, um, my, my goal is to use the tanks after they're in, is to use the tanks as a it'll kind of be a billboard for me in the sense that I will have signage on the side of the tank. Like well, quite honestly, I'd like to find another company or business that would like to do what you're doing, mm -hmm. consolidating into a central yeah, location. The, this, this location is really good. I, I sat in the front showroom of that building at length waiting for people so and doing some paperwork and waiting, you know, as I, and I see stuff drive by and I see the activities. There's been a lot of concerns about, you know, what about the propane and is it safe and 
you know, it's a, a propane tanker is safer than a gasoline. Yes, yeah. yeah. the walls are so rigid and solid. Yeah. That it, um, could you come in tomorrow morning and get these because we will make copies of these? Yeah, you can, tonight, I, I don't need them. I, I'm, I'm not going to be around tomorrow because I'm leaving in the morning on a okay. seven o'clock flight. Okay. So I'll be gone, so but I can have somebody else get them. It, well, then why don't you wait until Thursday? Because I'm not going to be not, in tomorrow. But okay. My clerk will be in, but just because I'm familiar with it, just okay. send someone in Thursday. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I just want them. The sooner I can get them, the better, because I'm going <laughs> to mail them. I have to mail the original. To my engineer okay. with an original drawing, okay. not a copy or anything. Yeah, from we'll have it all set okay. away. And and I got it. So we I need the originals. We just to want go. to make sure we have a copy yeah. in the folder and yep. yeah, the I'm map. I'm fine with that. So I'll have somebody come Thursday. Do you have one of those? So. I think we do have a map in what? there too. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the map is yeah, yeah, the map's in there too. Good. All right. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay. Super. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay. Next on our agenda is Mr. Eaton. Oh, welcome. Thank you for your time. I don't know if this is the appropriate forum, but I just want to take a few minutes to compliment the select board and uh, Karen on an extraordinarily well done job on the annual town report. Yes. Uh, I think the, uh, the layout, the appropriate use of photographs, uh, the well written articles, Karen, uh, about Linda's 40 years of dedication to the town, the Indina site, the RJ report, all really well done. Yes. Uh, going to the town meeting, sometimes we get confrontational, but there's a lot of good things happening in the town of mm -hmm. Brookfield. And this was a good vehicle to promote some of those, and I hope you guys continue to promote those good things. And again, Thank you for a good job. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I, Karen does an excellent job with it. And her writing is great. She does a really good job. Yeah. And thank you, Kermit, for coming in. Okay. Next here is to sign the Trident Insurance FY20 renewal. Motion to sign. Second. Uh, any discussion on this? It's gone up, I think. What is it? It's gone four percent, four percent yeah. in increase. But I think Mr. Joseph said next year that he will he's probably. Try, he's going to see what he can do to get up a lower bid next year. Although he told me he was retired a couple weeks, so he's not next year. I think next year might be his last year. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Same amount that we voted at town meeting, or are we going to need to make an adjustment um, he, at the fan? I think it was built in the insurances yeah. he gave. Whatever I think he said, whatever percentage we always built in. We always ask him before we go to the okay. to the advisory board. And that's they didn't get a chance to ch double check the budget against that. So, oh. well, it's a lump sum. It's all. But we did vote, right? Not just hmm. one. Well, that's what I'm. I'm that's what I was going to check was. And no, I no, didn't. no, I just... The, yeah, we did vote it. Yeah, okay. we voted good. for it. Yes, good. we did. Good. I didn't send too long. No, I think that <clears throat> we had put the adjustment in on that already. Yeah, we did, but what, he, what it does is when we go to the advisory board, the general insurance doesn't just include Trident. It yeah. includes right. other insurance. Right. Right. Too, yeah. so. The next one on our agenda is to sign the Farm Brewery and Entertainment License, and this is for the Farmer's Brewery Pouring permit an entertainment license and the state approved that so. and the state's approved it and this is to oak home brewing company llc andrew woodward is the manager and it is going to be on 80 slash 81 lake road here in brooklyn motion to sign second all in favor aye, aye. two successes on yes this is another another thing this is this is wonderful i think to have businesses wanting to come into town Treehouse a little run for their money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, the next one is from it's a revised Austin design amendment for accessibility and alterations contract. 
Yes, and town council looked it over and they wanted, they thought it should have a different signature page. So that's what it is. Okay. So, so that's the 1500 extra dollars. Extra dollars. Okay. So I'd like permission for all of us to sign this. A motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next one is to sign the CDBG FY17 invoice number 19 and FY18 invoice number 5. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All, of, all of us. Um, and there was a public hearing this evening to talk about FY19 uh, extra monies that might be available to do things like continuing with Finney and good. so to look at uh, re rehabbing housing and possibly to do some additional work on South Palm Beach. Oh, that's good to hear. The cat, did I catch it? Super. This one is to sign the, um, it's for $1,127.85. This is for um, this is for invoice 19 for Brookfield FY 17, and it's the same amount. And FY 17 has about yeah. thirty-eight thousand dollars to be spent. here is for FY18 and this was invoice number five and uh, in the amount it's four thousand one hundred and forty eight dollars and forty one cents. one here is municipal transfers. This, this one is from um, the treasurer and uh, she'd like to take from treasurer's wages to put into clerk wages the amount of two thousand dollars four hundred ninety three dollars and thirty one cents and also from treasurer's wages for the consultant and it's two thousand seven hundred and fifty one dollars and i'd like a motion motion to approve second all in favor aye, aye. 
Oh, so I thought all of us had to sign this. Um, they're using a different form. They're using a one internal to their yeah. financial company. Yes, I so, saw that. Yeah. Um, I did have a question related overall to municipal transfers. Do we need to, because of the closeout of the year being like July 15th being, I think, Tuesday, do we want to hold a joint meeting Monday with advisory for any last-minute transfers that may come in between today and the end so that we guarantee that both boards can actually get them approved prior to the 15th? Fine with me. If we so, have to, yeah, we'll have to find out. Yeah, could could you yeah, uh, send an yeah, inquiry to Steve and see if you can? know that the treasurer's office did send out. I mean, the accountant's office did send out yeah. a, um, an email and put it in everyone's boxes that the deadline was yesterday in order to get everything in. But yeah, we can find out if there's any strays. Why don't we yeah. find out if the army first before? Well, we my thought was get it on the you know get if we get it on the calendar then if there are then if there you is anything cancel it, you, want to do you can always one. cancel it. Yeah. One to Monday. Yeah. So if they're available, do you know? Yeah. I have no okay. idea. I didn't I didn't reach out yet. I just it dawned on me. Okay. Now when are they meeting again? Because this has to be signed also. By See, me. I don't know if they even have a meeting scheduled for this week. So they may need okay. one for Monday anyway. And then if we have a meeting and do it as a joint meeting, that way if anything comes up between now and then it mm -hmm. can get taken care of. So you want to do it six or six thirty? Six. six or oh, six. Yeah, if yeah. you want to do it at six, we can do it at six. Oh, can we do six thirty? Because oh, they usually do a seven o'clock. Okay. And their right. their committee usually does seven o'clock because a bunch of them work. Yeah. Okay, so six thirty. Okay. Six thirty. Okay. And these are ones from the accountant. Uh, this is for she took from Tri Valley Crisis to the Medicare. It okay. was one hundred ninety nine dollars, and then um, call call expense. What is this? Our C O L L software? Collector expense. Collector? Yeah, yeah. collector oh, expense. Collector, okay. She took from the collector ex uh, expenses for the um, collector software 40 cents. And this is the. Now, whose salary is this? BB salary? Let me see. I can read it right. It says BB salary. A PB salary and PB expense. I planning board is. salary to planning oh, okay. board expense. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's what it is, Sharon? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, all right. Okay. We went over budget because of the, um, the so, bylaw. So. Oh, okay. that's right. Having to consult town council on those back and forth. Okay. Okay. So on the, um, the, they took it from the planning board salary. To go to the expense, it's uh, one thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars and thirty-five cents, and then the municipal gasoline to the municipal heating fuel, it was five thousand two hundred and sixty-one dollars and forty-nine cents. And I'd like a motion to sign this. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now we have um, another one also from the accountant. Uh, she's taking all of these out of the shade tree expense. Municipal property, um, $1,852.68. Um, municipal utilities, $589.84. Uh, gas expense, $50.71. Wiring inspector, four cents. And, uh, ZEO salary is four cents. So I'd like a motion to motion sign. Motion to sign. Second. If we, she's, been, if we she's, come that close, that's great. Oh, yes, she is. She's doing a very good job. Yeah. I'm very pleased she's with us. We're going to remind her, Karen, she has to sign this one when she comes in on Thursday. So speaking of the finance meeting that we had the other day, speaking of forms, mm -hmm. so that was one of the cautions that I did give them is to make sure that the as the distribution of the finance the updated finance policy goes around that we make sure we've got the latest forms. Yeah. Okay. Next we're on to wage authorization. So the uh, personnel board met today and they signed all the wage authorizations. So motion to sign. Motion okay. to sign. Okay, so everything that's in there has been through personnel? Yep. Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So we'll start signing. Do, do we all like want to take a stack and start signing? Yeah, and then we can pass. 
Yeah. Okay. Stack. That's a stack. That looks like a stack. Stack. Here's another stack. All right. Yep. Go for it. That's what we'll do. Some of these I see, like the library ones, they have to be signed by the trustees, so they'll have to. To sign the lights. Oh, I'm, I made a mistake on these. Mary Lou. Just the trustees, I guess, have to sign for the library. Well, is it okay? Is it okay with you if I change this uh, a date for you? Okay. Karen. What? I noticed here that the trust. Okay. I made the trustees have to sign these. Okay. I, I thought you went seven instead of nine. I made a mistake. I signed some of them. I think it's because it was the seven nine nineteen. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to change it without your permission. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Than I, though. No, I think I got the smallest stack. <laughs> you want some more, Beth? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say we could also just cheat and only put two on each one because that's a quorum. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's get them all up. Madam Chair, the, hmm? we have a question in the game. What? Sure. I yes. see. I'm sorry. Are the wage authorizations, are those just for new employees? No, no, that's everybody. for everybody. Okay, then I guess I'm just doing the memo like that. I thought they were just single employees. There was no hint on the, the email that it was for everybody. I know that the form that said new or changed employees, so you'll get, uh, one, you'll get one from Planning Board, I guess. Oh, well. Life in the fast lane. Is there a stack yet? Oh, yes. It's a humid night. Hmm? Humid yes, night. It is humid tonight. Form. I don't know if 
We already handled this, or... I left sideways the one that's the library trustees to sign. <laughs> so I get caught? Right. I'll even put it in the back for you. Yeah, I have some library trustees. Let's see if you Just a copy. I know you signed it, but the original is not to Cindy yep. on Interesting. Mm -hmm. So this is something we probably need to address at the next um, town meeting. Is uh, it looks like apparently uh, 
there's no there was no change in uh, fire chief salary indicated on the budget I wonder if we missed that with the advisory so yeah let's let's go I back would have caught it though I mean I'm, I'd be surprised if you could well, the, the salary changes were very last minute in the budget sheets, so he might he might not have seen it. Okay, so let me, well, didn't he fill out he filled out his wage authorization, didn't he? Right. It doesn't show it doesn't show before and after, but he did note that it was level funded in the budget. So I don't know if he added two and a half percent or not. I don't know. Let the way me. the firefighter ones are done, they don't have the the prior amount. Okay. So let's let's just look into it, please. I'm sure the firefighter ones were because minimum was 12, and then he's got the 61. He gave him two and a half. Understood. It's just that the annual salary indicated for the chief. There's a note on the sheet that says that it was level funded at the okay. town meeting. So I don't know if that's an adjustment or just an authorization oh, for the that's year. Odd. So let's just double right, check it. I don't have my copy of the budget with me, so. We ever heard anything back from Ann Gobi's office about raising the population of the towns that are defined as small towns that allow for holding multiple positions? Okay. So we probably need to reach out to them I thought again. Mike was looking into that before. Okay. That'd be great. Lois going to be in tomorrow? Yes, she will. Okay, I think I'm going to come up tomorrow morning and finish signing all of these. Okay. Yeah. I think we've got oh, two on them. I just signed okay. for you. Hmm? What's that? Scratch my name. Okay. What did you say, Ben? I was going to say, if we have two and we've done the vote, I don't think it's an issue. No, Is so it? I'll come up and sign them in the morning. Oh, sorry. There we go. 
two on Sunday. Take this one out, maybe. Okay. Separate. Okay. We don't have anything under other. Do, do, do you uh, have anything? I would. I do. But go ahead. I uh, just uh, real quick uh, that there will be a meeting tomorrow morning at the beach between um, uh, fisheries and, and uh, good. Fisheries and, and wildlife. wildlife. There we go. <laughs> and talking about. Uh, the agreement and talking about handicap access and mm -hmm. other improvements to the beach and how that might come about. Cool. So, okay. Positive. Yeah. You have uh, just a couple things. It, it, was it? Did I miss a meeting? And did the Board of Health come to us about disposing of the excess building that they had down at the uh, transfer station? Because I think they disposed of it on Municipid, but I'm I don't recall us ever taking a vote either to dispose of it or to accept the no. bid. So I think the building's already gone, and the check I think has been turned over to the treasurer, but I don't know if it's if it's recorded under the right accounting and such. So I wanted to check with you all if you recalled anything that maybe I had forgotten. No, no. I didn't have anything. <clears throat> okay, so do, do good that it's gone away. Yeah. It's it's great that it's gone away since they had made the decision not to use it. I think it's fabulous that it was disposed of on municipid and probably following all of yeah. the standard. Right. protocols yeah. but i just want to make certain that um you know we're following the right procedures yeah. right um right. and my understanding is the selectmen are really the ones that authorize the disposal of excess the determination of and disposal yep. of excess property mm -hmm. um so i i think i would like to make a motion that we send a, a you know a formal or semi-formal inquiry to the board of health and say hey what was the practice what what, what was used how are the funds recorded and and yep. where are they getting deposited okay. into rather than as like a general receipt um, for the transfer station that I don't know if there's any anything special we need to do with regards to those funds. Okay. So we'll who did that, Ken? I'll write you a little note and if you want, um, if you're coming in tomorrow, you can just ask them or we'll make them write a letter if you want it more. Formal. Either way. Yeah. It's yeah. up to you. Just I didn't want to I didn't want to do the inquiry without checking with y'all. So I would just ask the question yeah. very, very what procedure was used. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to write that down? I am, yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah, because I'll be up tomorrow morning. So, um, it's great that the treasurer provided us the tax title information. I would like to understand more about where we're at with the properties because this gives us kind of like the the volume, but mm -hmm. I don't know which ones are actually in the land court and which ones aren't, and I'm, I would think that either the treasurer's office, I would hope that we don't have to go to KP to know which ones are in land court. We should have records to that effect from the last time that Keith did it. So if we could get some sort of annotation of these, um, I, I would be really appreciative of that. Okay, so you wanna know which ones are in land court. Yeah, which ones are in land court, which ones do we have to decide what our next steps are? Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, do, do we know when we're gonna make those decisions about yeah. what the next steps are with the ones that we've, yeah. we've got? And then um, if you saw the one from Brenda, if she gave. I did not. I only saw Brenda the two had, from the. T from yeah, Brenda. And well, one of them, uh, it's supposed to, I thought one was from Brenda and one was from the church. Well, they, I, it looks I, like they I, printed the same report. One of them's the committed balance and one's the tax title balances. Oh. And I'm not quite. Well, cause, like, so I think, I think when it, it goes, I think either one of them can print a different, it's like a different yeah. view form. But. Because uh, Brenda, Brenda and I were going through them okay. and a lot of them. Like where the properties are, the taxes that are owed on them is so much, and the value of the property is and the value is probably even a quarter of what is owed on right. a lot of these properties. But, and we should consider writing off at least those. Yeah. Not, what my focus is and will continue to be is the high, the high, 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 high value ones. Yeah, high the value high ones. Yeah. Our meeting tonight was about the most high value one and what we're going to do about it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, maybe maybe if we could have a, an annotated report yeah. of, you know, what what do we need, what's next steps. Okay. Yeah. That would be good. And, uh, and again, it doesn't have to, as we did the, this the last time, we kind of put things in three buckets. Yeah. And yep. that was helpful that we focused on the, the top, two, okay. top two tiers. Right. And if it's something we can do, great. So, and then... Um, 
I did get contacted by, uh, and to your point that I get uh, earlier, it said, you know, to contact, you know, accountant or the treasurer if there's like a, an mm -hmm. issue and not necessarily go through the selectmen. I did have somebody contact me about an issue with their pay, one of the folks from the schools for yeah, summer pay. Tell me about that too. Right. And I did, I forwarded it to the, both the treasurer and the accountant because, because really the, I mean, for payroll stuff, usually the first stop's the treasurer, not mm -hmm. the accountant. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, but I, I hadn't heard anything back, which you know. Well, I, I think she handled it. It's okay. all been taken care of, and and like she said, they came in. Like one of them came in on the holiday. The no, when she got the emails, the emails was sent. One of the emails was sent on July fourth to her, and she didn't see it till she came back in. Yes. Oh no, I, I understand that. Yeah. I'm just you know. In fact, I think one of them was sent probably like Sunday. Yeah, actually. And, yeah. She said one was Sunday, and yeah. then. Uh, yeah. No, she took care. Of, she's taken care of that, and she's talked to the person. Oh, great. Okay, so it was just a one-off. It wasn't like a yeah. whole like payroll run yeah. or anything like yeah. that. Okay, great. She talked to me about that today. Great. Okay. Anything else here on the other? I think we're good. Okay, we're on correspondence. This is from Chatter. Uh, they have a change of their hearing that they were having, um, and the, the date of the hearing change was scheduled for. July 24th will now be at 11 a.m. on Wednesday, August 7th, in hearing room 1E at 100 Washington Street, Boston, Mass. The next one here is from, oh, is this the one? What's this one? Here? Okay, and now we have also, we have an invitation from the Hardwick New Braintree Police Department. It said that, um, here. They're having an open house at the New Braintree uh, Dispatch for its 25th anniversary on June 17, 2019. They did this already. What's the date? It says June 17, 2019. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, but they were inviting. Okay, all right. We but they, did you do it on the that was, no, that was the anniversary. As oh, okay, we go on say. further here, and they're inviting um, the selectmen and residents to an open house on July 20th, 2019 at 10 o'clock until two. And they will dis, uh, have displays for all 10 town emergency services. They'll have food vendors and activities for the children. And that is from Kevin M. Landine. He's the Board of o Overseers for Hardwick New Braintree Police Department. And that's all for correspondence. And with that, a motion to Ooh. adjourn. Second. 23 22. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.